the IRA, that is post-tax money. So even though, yeah, chances are taxes will be going up in the future, um, I mean, taxes on that technically should be lower than a traditional 401k. Is that accurate or inaccurate? Well, there are two types of IRAs. There's a traditional IRA, which is the one that uh, would be tax deferred, just like a 401k would be. But you're right. There's this other entity called a Roth IRA. And mm -hmm. Roth IRAs are taxed today so that you can have a tax-free harvest. I ask right. people in our consultations, we do one-on-one -on -one advisory meetings, financial analysis uh, meetings, where we do a deep dive into their current financial situation. And we look at what are their aims? What are their intents? What do they want their money doing for them? One of those questions is, do you believe taxes will be lower or higher? I don't care about politics. You know, I don't care who and the president is. This is a financial conversation. So in 20 years, 10 years, 30 years, whenever you're going to be retired, will taxes be lower or higher? And every single person to a T says taxes are going up. And yet 95% of Americans have the vast majority of their retirement savings in a tax deferred 401k or traditional IRA or or other forms of government deferral programs. So I always ask them, hey, if you defer something like your taxes, it's sort of like deferring a root canal. Now back mm -hmm. to your original question, what should we do with student loans? Well, one option is to just throw money at them and to lose all the opportunity cost you have on that dollar. If I throw a dollar, if I'm 27 years old or 30 years old, I throw a dollar into my student loans, that's maybe $13, $15 that I won't have in, in retirement time, depending on my rate of return. Is there an alternative? This was the aha moment of my adult life. Um, and I got to explain this briefly uh, and walk you through it for just a minute. But it it tore down my mindset as to how money really works. And it gave me a brand new framework that now we've since trademarked. We call it the debt snow bank method of paying off your debts. So it's That's now awesome. uh, you know a, a, a tool that Americans are using to become not just debt-free, but better than right. debt-free. Okay, so here's how the process works. We, we discovered, of all things, David, a dividend-paying whole life insurance policy uh, that's known as Bank on Yourself Designed. I think you had a, a, right. a, a, a guest on several years ago. His name's Sari. He's a great colleague of mine. He yeah. was on here on your show a few years ago. 